hey guys welcome back to my channel yes it's always the same old saying it has been a minute um but i really wanted to come on here and share with you um a little bit about university um and this video is going to be called um extended foundation degree kind of year i just want to kind of go over that because when i was looking through youtube I didn't really see anybody speaking about extended or foundation degree um, so I'll just speak to you a little bit about it and share my experiences and give a little advice. So I am a mature student, I've done two other videos before, um, one I done my testimony of how I got into university and the second being how I juggle university and motherhood. So this one as I said I just want to speak to you about the foundation degree um which is what i have just finished and i am returning to go into my first year now a foundation or extended degree is basically an extra year on your degree um that you basically do a foundation year which is equivalent to a level three um and when i got told that i had to do that i really really wasn't pleased at all i was very unhappy and i was like oh my gosh like i'm like 32 years old and well at the time I was 31 yeah I was 31 and I was like oh my gosh like do I want to do university for four years I didn't even want to do it for three years much less four years um but I thought you know what God knows he has his way and just let your will be done so um I got used to that idea and I am now an advocate of um extended degree um in university when I say advocate, I have labelled myself an advocate. Like, I'm a cheerer for that. Like, I'm an ambassador for that. I'm just for it. And the reason why I'm for it is because I learned so much. Um, I learned how to write academically. I learned how to um, structure my assignments. I learned how to um, critically think, how to critically argue. Um, I also have learned how to research. I've also learned, um, what else have I learned? How to research. I've learned how to do um, research assignments. I've just learned so much and I'm just so grateful and thankful for the experience. Now, one of the things that I will say to you um, about the extended degree is a lot of people say that when you do your first first year it doesn't count or what have you but obviously doing the extended degree determines whether you go into first year um all praises be to god i got my results and i got six b's and two a's and i was just ecstatic and yes you could clap like right about now Woo! but no on a serious note i was really really excited about that and um I was a little hard on myself because there were certain assignments that I really wanted to get A and I didn't get in that but I have to be thankful um, that I at least got A's and B's. So moving on, I um, what else do I want to share with you? Yeah so um, I've done that and I would say one thing about the extended degree is like the first semester it was cool i was like yeah i can manage this this is like good second semester that's when it gets on top it's like you've got assignments come due you've got assessments due like you've got to do exams it kind of just all comes it's like the first semester they're like all right we're gonna take a little easy on you and then the second semester it's like um so <laughs> y'all ready yeah basically it's like <laughs> well you had it easy on the first semester so second semester here we come um i spent so much time in the library um as soon as i got my assignments as i am a mother i don't want to bring anything home i want to do everything at university so i would say to you use your university um facilities utilize the library utilize your um your um tutors and also utilize your success coaches in some universities i'm not quite sure but the one that i go to we have success coaches that have already done the extended degree that can help us um if we have any queries or questions that we may have in terms of the uh, modules and stuff that we're doing so i find that to be very useful and one of the success coaches that i had spoken to had really helped to shape me um, for first year in terms of what I wanted to do to give me um, more clarity and peace of mind about the degree that I wanted to choose and also what I was about to expect so that was just awesome in itself 
<laughs> also, um, in the extended degree, I would say that um, definitely pair yourself up. Start as you mean to go on. Don't ever think that this is not anything exciting. Like how I have got into the habit of being in the library. So, for example, if I have an afternoon lesson in the morning, I will be in the library until my afternoon lesson. I'm in that habit now, so that is something that I will continue in first year. Um, might be helpful to tell you what my um, foundation degree was or extended degree was in. So I started off my extended degree in media and communication um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it but it wasn't something that I wanted to continue and that is another bonus with the extended degree is that it helps you to really have a feel of some, a, a little tiny bit of a feel of what you're going to be continuing to do um and by doing that i decided that media and communication was not something that i wanted to continue and now i'm going on to do a sociology and social policy degree Woo -woo. but yeah um it really helped me because we had a lot of sociology um modules and it really excited me it intrigued me i was like on it just just wanting to know more buzzing so i was like you know what this definitely is for me so I would say that that is another great bonus for being in the extended degree. Also, if you've been out of education for a while or, um, you know, just not quite sure about what you want to do, I think the extended degree is a good thing to get a little feel of university to see if you're really ready for university life. Um, as for me, reason being why I done the extended degree was because I did have a level three, but I did not have enough credit to go on to the first year so basically the level three that i had done wasn't a full level three it was a few units in a level three which wasn't enough which was fine um but i kind of was used to writing assignments because i had done that for the um level three that i had done before um but as i said the extended degree really has set me up and a little birdie told me that statistics say that those who do the extended degree tend to do better than those that start in first year. So when you go into first year, you will find that you are um, already familiar with the kind of things that you would need to do within university, using the system, you know, writing the structure. Because in year one, they say that tutors don't really have much time to be like kind of spoon feeding you per se, um, for things that you need to do. It's kind of like lecture, seminar, boom. Obviously, teachers will help you, and that's one thing that I love about my university. They are very, very helpful. Um, tutors make themselves available just to help you. They want to see you succeed um, in your degree. However, um, you know, little things as to what I had in the extended degree, you will not get that in the first year. Um, also, another thing, because of the kind of person that I am, one thing that I decided to do was to find out what books I needed for the first year so that during this summer term I could really do some great, some reading or at least research the subjects and stuff that I wanted to do. Now for me, that's the kind of person I am, very organised, want to know what's happening, I'm not about that supply, surprise! No, I need to know what's going on. I need to know what material to read. I need to be ahead. So what I did was I bought my books ahead um, instead of waiting to start first year and then go ahead. So um, I will be doing more videos on um, sociology because another thing I was searching on YouTube myself just to get a feel because you know sometimes you have a little like cold shoulder you're like, do you really want to do sociology, Jasmine? And you really want to get a feel of... Um, sociology like what's it like come on and share with me because there's only so much that um you can read about it or you can research about it but sometimes it's really good to hear somebody actually like speaking about it or their experience and i don't find that in there so i'm going to be speaking a lot about sociology sociology degree on um my channel so that those who are thinking about sociology can have that kind of feel of what it is about anyway one of the books that I got was Thinking Sociologically, which is one that um, one of my tutors um, told me to get. Um, another book was Social Policy, so Social Problems in the UK. And one of my um, tutors within my university, Studer Isaac, he is one of the authors of this book, or writers, yeah, authors, whatever you want to call him. Um, so yeah, I've been reading a little bit of this as well. 
and also um social policy which is one of the modules that we will be doing within um my sociology degree and sorry excuse me this one i had from my extended degree because it, I was told that we needed to do this. This is like two Argos catalogues put together, like no lie, but this is something that's gonna help me within my sociology degree throughout. Um, and it's a book called Sociology. Um, it's by Anthony Giddens and it's the sixth edition. So um, these are the four books that I have got thus far to help me with my degree and you know you're not going to be able to read it like from back to front but at least if you skim read and you look through stuff you will be a little bit more prepared at the end of your extended degree for your first year so that's the advice i would give buy your books in advance and buy your books second hand do not buy brand new books all of these books that i bought were second hand do they look second hand no because i doubt the person they got it even read it but yeah um buy your book second hand from amazon because you don't want to really need a book and then you have to be going to the library and they're just not there and you're looking on the shelves like book where you be so yeah um yeah and i'm a book lover anyway so got a bit of a book fetish but yeah do do that what else would i say about the extended degree yeah i just want to leave you with some words of encouragement do not be discouraged about doing the extended degree um as i said it has been so helpful and useful for me i feel so prepared for year one um and you know my theory is everything happens for a reason um and just be encouraged do not go in with a negative mindset because that will continue throughout in your extended degree um be encouraged take what you can from it and also one thing i would love to say is just if you are going to do anything do it well get involved you may have children great but i was a student representative for the extended degree for my class i then became a student ambassador which is something that i get paid for in the university um and i it helps me to know a lot of the, the tutors and stuff within the university people see me around the university they can see that i'm serious about my degree um and just whatever you do do it well give you 100 if you can be involved in a lot of things do get involved um you want to enjoy your degree you want to enjoy the time you don't want to just float through it and be like oh this is something i have to do let me just troddle on no really really try and enjoy this experience because yes it's four years but it's not um trying to do the maths 48 months no it's like half of that the academic year in university is only seven months i've been off since the end of may and i'm returning the second of october i have been off for a long time so the academic year is not very long um you know it just sounds long because it's four years but actually the time that you're doing the degree is not that long at all it's almost half so it's like yeah please please enjoy the process um and don't be discouraged enjoy it um learn do as much as you can and yeah just do it well and get yourself a good circle of people stick with them those that are really about their degree that really want to be encouraged because you are going to find that people are just there they're not really serious they're not sure a couple of people will be coming to you asking you oh like what, what did i miss da, 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 blah, 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 blah. and you know as much as you want to help everybody you can't be there for everybody you know so just do your best and just yeah enjoy your degree extended degree is it's it's just i'm an advocate i love it so i hope this video has encouraged you i know i'm gonna be on here and I'll be like oh man i forgot to do this yes you know what i might leave this for another video I am going to do another video on um, student finances and how to handle your money. My friend has truly helped me in that. Um, I'm quite an organised person anyway, but I got my friend on board to just be like, you know, really help me to be like, with like saving bits and doing this and oh, I can't wait to share with you. Um, I hope to film that video maybe after this one but I'm not sure but I really want to get this out before everyone's student loans come which I know would be about the 25th of September so I'm going to do my utmost best to film another video to get that to you 
but be encouraged i love you all take care god bless and yeah i'll speak to you soon take care bye